What are these? And what if they're far away? What are those? Good. Okay. There. And two. So now what do I ask about the shoes? What are those? What are those? Those are shoes. Those are, well, for you, yes, those are shoes. Two, how would you answer? Are that? Uh, not quite. If I say, what is this? And you say, this is a... What would you say for that? You would say, if I say, what are those? How would you answer? These. These. Are shoes. Okay. How about if I ask for the drumsticks? What are these? These things and drumsticks. These? Those. Are those. Why do we use those? Because you have to. Because I have two, yes, and because they are far away. Far away. Good. Okay, great. We use these and those the same way we use this and that. We use these for more than one object, two or three or more, when it is close to us. We use those when it is more than one object and it is farther away from us. Just like we use this for something close and that for something that's far, we use these for things that are close and those for things that are farther away. Now it's your turn to practice this. You and your partner can move around the room and take things so there is more than one. There must be two things or three things or more and ask each other, what are these? What are those? And you can practice answering each other. Please stop the video and do the activity. Great. Now, we'll get to your papers in just a little bit. When you're asking in a store about prices, okay, I have, I have this. Right? Do I say this or that? This. This. Why do I use this? Because it's, it's close. It's close and? It, you, touch. you touch it. I can touch it, yes, it's close. But how many? One. 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 Good. If I had... Now what do I say? Those. 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 These. These. For me it's these. For you it's? Those. Those. Good. So when you're asking in a store, you would say something like, hmm, let's see. Not what anymore, because you know what you want to buy. You would say, how much? Okay, how much? So if I ask, how much is this? Good. Okay, I'm going to start throwing some stuff, so ready? Catch and layer. Catch and oh, there's no price on that one. Throw a price on this one. So blue and nay. Ready? Huh. Great. If I'm in a store now, and I want to know how much something is, but I, and I can touch it, what can I ask? How much is this? How much is, Lair, how much? This. Is this. Good. But, oh, that she's got something very nice. What do I ask? How much is? That. 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 Good. Okay, now what do I ask? How much is those? Mm. How much? How much are those? Are for you? Yes. How much are those? For me, if it's my question. This. This. These. Okay. And for the shoes. 
How much are? How much are these? Those. For you, these. For me, how much are? Those. those. Good. And how would you answer these questions? Okay. If I ask you, how much are these? How would you answer? Those. Those. Those are. Ah, but I don't have a price on these. Okay, let me put a price on them first. Good price for drumsticks. So how much are these? Those are five cents. Those are five cents. Good. And you put your price here. Okay. How much is this? This is those. Those are those. How many are there? This that, that is that is seventy five dollars. Seventy five dollars, right? So it's all about prices. Okay, we're going to try this again. Bring all your things up to the front and ask each other some questions, and then you can go to your clipboards and answer the questions again. Okay? So ask each other. Ask each other. How much are these? How much are those? Uh, Excuse me. Mm -hmm. How much is these? Uh, this is one dollar. This one dollar. Thirty-five dollar. How much is this? Uh, this is fifteen dollars. Fifteen dollars. Yes. No, no, one five. Excuse me. What is those? What is? Those. What are those? Those are paper clips. What do you want to ask? Price? How much are those? How much are those? Those are two dollars. You saw what the students were doing. They were around a table and they were looking at all these things and asking each other questions. Now it's your turn. I'd like every person in your class to bring something and put it on the table. Maybe you bring more than one thing, two things like two shoes or two pencils or things like that. Put all these things on the table and have your class come around the table and do what they were doing on the video. Practice asking each other questions. What is this? What is that? And you would answer and say, this is a pencil. That is a hat. And then when there is more than one thing, remember to use the words these and those. So if you had two pencils, you could hold them up and say, what are these? And a person who is a little bit far away would say, those are, and answer you. All right, are you ready? Let's begin. Please stop the video and do the activity. Okay, so on the bottom of your clipboard, you have questions. Two towels cost. A birdhouse costs. Let me write this on here. Cost. I'll do costs and cost. You use the word costs for one thing. A chamois costs so much. If you're using two things, shoes cost. Shoes cost. Okay? So, Lair, why don't you come on up? And you need to ask me some questions about the items here. Two things. Yes, ask me questions using this conversation. What would you say? Excuse me, you would say, how much are two towels? Excuse me, how much are two towels? Uh, two towels are uh, five dollars. Okay, so I need you to write five dollars on there. Okay, anything else I can help you with? What's the next thing on your list? What's the next thing on your bird? Birdhouse. So what do you ask? Excuse me, how much is the birdhouse? Is the birdhouse? 
Uh, the birdhouse is $75. Okay? Did you know how he asked? He said, how much is the birdhouse? How much are two towels? Okay? Sarah, why don't you come on up? Okay? Ask me about two things on your list. What would you ask? Excuse me, how much? Excuse me? How much? How much a uh, uh, birdhouse? Is a birdhouse? Yes. A birdhouse is, the birdhouse, this is $75. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Can you ask me for one more thing? What would you say now? Anything else I can help you with? Yes. Okay. How much the two towels? How much are are two two towels? Two towels are uh, fifteen dollars. Fifteen dollars. You're welcome. Okay. One of the ladies, uh, sub blue. Come on up. Come on up. Okay. Choose two two items. Maybe not the first two. Choose something down here. Ask. Excuse me, how much is water bottle? The water bottle? The water bottle is actually it's on sale. So it is two dollars and fifty cents. Okay. Anything else I can help you with? How much are Towel. Are the towels? Well, these towels are very popular. Uh, the towels are five dollars. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, two. Come on up. Can you ask me some questions? Not about the towels. We ran out of towels. No more towels in my store. So, can you ask me about something? You have questions? Let's see, what do you have a shopping list here? How about the paper clips? Ask me about the paper clips. How much the paper clips? How much? What word do we use? How much yes. is paper clips? One paper clip? Yes. Hmm. If I could find the paper clips, maybe we ran out of those too. Just one? Just one paper clip? Okay. A paper clip is very expensive. Is one hundred dollars? One hundred dollar paper clip, solid gold. How much the book? How much is the book? Uh, the book is six dollars and fifty five cents. Fifty five cents. Great. Okay. You. You're welcome. And nay. Last but not least. Come on up. Can you ask me about something? What prices do you need to know? How much the scissors cost? The scissors? Oh, I don't know if we have scissors. I can order them. It will cost, the scissors cost uh, $10. Is there anything else I can help you with? How much? Is the phone book? The phone book is ten dollars and fifty five cents. You. You're welcome. Okay, so let's wrap up here. How do I ask? What question do I ask? Not for price, but not how much, no, not price, but I don't know what, what, what do you call? What are, for me, for you, yes, what are those? For me, what are these? What are these? What about for price? How much is this? How much are those? For you, yes. For me, how much are these? Okay. I'm going to start throwing some bottles and things at you, so catch. Ready? That's for you. That's for you. That's for you. And I don't want to throw that. That's for you. I think you got the same thing. 
What do I what do I ask? What do I ask? Lair? What do I ask? Oh, I didn't give you anything. Here. What do I ask? What is that? What is that? Good. How about for you? What is that? What is this? Good. You would ask, what is this? What would you ask? What is this? Good. And how about me? What is this? Now you have it on the floor. What would you ask for th- for this? What is the... What, what is... Are, are those... What is that? Is that? Yes, there's only one birdhouse. How about for this? What are those? What are those? Good. Okay? Wonderful. Next time we're going to cover what you would do if something you own breaks. What do you do? Who do you go to? Okay? Well, let's wrap up. What did we learn today? Well, we learned that when you're asking for something or asking for help in a store, if it's close to you, you would call it this. If it's far away from you, you would say that. You could say, what is this? What is that? And the person would answer you in the appropriate way as well. We also learned that if there is more than one thing, I would use these and those. These for something that's close to me, those for something that's farther away. This can be a little confusing at times, so practice doing it until you're sure that you're getting it right. We also learned that in the store, if you want to know the price of something, you wouldn't say, what is this? You would say, how much is this? And the person would answer you by saying, that is $2.95 or whatever the price is. And we learned that if there is more than one thing, you would say, how much are these? And they would say, those are, and they would name the price. Now, when you're in the store, it's important to remember to be polite. So I hope that you have learned from this how to ask for things in a store in a way that will be good and it will be helpful to you and polite to others. I hope you've enjoyed today's lesson. This is English Without Limits. I'm Doug Sadler. Have a good day.